Hey everyone, this is Tyler the Antenna Man and today I'm going to show you how to auto program or run a channel scan on an Insignia Smart Fire TV, which is the TV you see to the left of me. If you're a first time cord cutter and considering an antenna, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that bell icon for notifications. Now, when you use an antenna for digital channels on a TV set, it's not like the analog days where you just type in a channel number, let's say channel seven, and the station comes right up. You have to run a channel scan to program the local channels on your TV set. For some of you out there, this may seem like common knowledge, but understand many other people have been on cable forever and don't understand you have to run a channel scan and can easily get confused in what seems like endless menu options. I'm here to clear up any confusion, at least on this Insignia model. Here's how to run a channel scan if you use an antenna and have this TV model. Using the remote, you're going to scroll all the way up and then to the right until settings is selected in yellow. Scroll down to access this menu and scroll over to live TV. Click on it and then select channel scan. Select next and the TV will begin scanning for channels in your area. After the channel scan is complete, you have two options. You can either hit done and preview all of the channels or you can scroll over to manage channels. This will allow you to preview all the channels that showed up and possibly hide channels that you do not watch. After you selected the channels you want to keep, press the home button. You can then access your antenna channels by pressing the little TV icon on the remote and it will bring up a really cool guide like this. Now all that's left is to decide what you want to watch. Keep in mind that sometimes you won't receive all channels in your area after running a channel scan. Maybe you're missing your local Fox or an ABC station or just some PBS station. This is common if you're using a small indoor antenna as they don't work well. One thing you can try to do is move the antenna around to different places to see if you can find a spot that gets all channels. If you still cannot pick up all of the local channels, you may need a better antenna. Feel free to use my YouTube channel as a resource. I have several videos on antenna reviews and reception tips. I also offer custom antenna recommendations on my website at antennamanpa.com. I run a reception report at your location using multiple websites, take a look at the TV frequencies and signal strength, and make a custom antenna recommendation based on my experience testing out nearly 50 antennas and installing them in four TV markets. Hopefully this video helped clear up any confusion about running a channel scan if you have an Insignia Smart Fire TV. I would also recommend downloading the Pluto TV and Stir app as they both offer about 100 free live channels. Thanks for taking the time to watch this YouTube video, especially if you are a subscriber of my YouTube channel and the video may not have been exactly relevant to you. I understand that some of you subscribers watch my videos just to help increase the search results of it. I greatly appreciate that. A special thanks to these folks who help support these videos on Patreon and are members of my YouTube channel. If you would like to help support these valuable cord cutting videos while gaining exclusive perks, such as behind the scenes content, access to my videos ad free one day early, and direct contact with me, visit patreon.com forward slash antenna man or click the join button in this video. If you're on Facebook, you can like my Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash antenna man PA. If you're not on Facebook and would like to receive email updates when I post new videos, feel free to sign up to my email list. I attached a link in the description to it. Stay tuned to my YouTube channel for more cord cutting and antenna related videos and have an awesome day.